The Michelson Mirror homework problem number 56, I believe. How fast did the Michelson Mirror need to spin in order for it to successfully measure the speed of light? Once again, Michelson was, one, was, the, was the first American physicist to win a Nobel Prize in physics for his design of optical instruments such as this, the very precisely spinning and, and lined up mirrors used to measure the speed of light in this particular case. So, as we discussed in class, if this mirror has eight sides, it needs to spin fast enough such that it can spin one-eighth of a turn in the time it takes the light to go down to the mirror on the 35 kilometer distant mountain and back, that's a round trip of 70 kilometers, the mirror has to turn one-eighth of a turn so it's lined up again so that the original beam of light that had reflected off the first surface went down to the, the mountain, came back, bounced off that mirror into the eyepiece that he could see if the spin rate was fast enough. Bottom line is the math is simply V equals D over T. So we're going to assume, what we're looking for is how fast does this mirror need to spin. We're going to assume that we know the speed of light. The speed of light is 3.00, which we do know, times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Obviously, he probably did it in miles per hour. Maybe he did it in meters per second, but his distance is 70 kilometers. 35 plus 35 is 70 kilometers. That's 70 with three more zeros in T. So we're going to figure out what T is. Turns out that the time is 2.33 times 10 to the negative fourth seconds. Once again, we're doing the problem backwards. He knew how fast his mirror was spinning, so this would have been his final step, basically, is plugging that time in with a 70-kilometer distance to figure out the velocity. Now, once we know the time is that, what we know is that the mirror has to spin one-eighth of a turn in that amount of time. In other words, if I do the following, we have essentially one-eighth of a rotation, one-eighth of a rotation in that time, 2.33 times 10 to the negative fourth seconds. So if I simply do the math there, 1 eighth is 0.125 divided by the 2.33 seconds, that gives me 536 rotations per second. I could call that RPS. And then you multiply by 60, 60 seconds in one minute, and you end up with 32,000 RPM. Here's another way to write it. That's the standard way you would write RPM. So in other words, I just did a conversion. I, I multiplied by 60 over 1, 60 seconds over 1 minute. That's just a conversion. So his, his mirror had to be spinning at roughly 32,000 RPMs at minimum. It could do double that and it would work as well, but that speed, which is quite a high speed, so it's quite amazing that he was able to design that mirror to do that and be successful. Successfully measuring the speed of light, I believe he got within like 1% of today's accepted value. Good job, Albert Michelson. Congratulations.